If we're going to split up, I should have the children. They're my children too, and we can't split up. We're forbidden to. I've never heard of two gods splitting up. Why can't you just leave us? Why can't you just mysteriously disappear? Well, I might just go, and you can have the kids too. I don't want anything that has to do with this family. Fine, then just go! What am I going to do now? Why do I have to be the goddess and make sure the moon sets and rises perfectly every single day? As Celine went outside, Sinkrad snuck out and didn't return to the house. The next day would be a nightmare. The next morning. Where did, where's Dad? He's left. It's probably all your fault Dad left. Where did Dad go? You evil beast! What did you do? the children turned evil with desperation. With no one to live with them or encourage them to improve, they would continue to be evil. They had lived in a house with two bad parents, so it was not unusual that they turned out this way. They were frustrated and scared. It was hard to be in the world all alone. We can't turn back now. Everybody's looking for us. We're not good anymore, so we're in danger. We've hurt many people. Let's just find Dad. We have to be close. Where do we look? We've looked everywhere. Well, I don't know. We've looked everywhere. I guess we can look in the underworld. Okay, but how do we get there? Maybe we should not look there. I'm sure he will not be there. If we can't get down there, then he possibly could get down there. Okay. Oh no, when Mom makes sure the moon is orbiting right, she will see us from the sky. So? She'll bring us home, and that's not our only problem either. They both also realize, not too long after that, if Apollo sees them evil, he will try to burn them out and kill them. You realize Apollo's coming around in a little bit to do his rounds, right? Yeah, so? Apollo burns out any evil souls he sees in his path. We're evil now. Oh. What do we do? Hide? Probably makes sense to fix the problem rather than to hide it. Maybe we can turn good again. So? So, we do good deeds? Oh! How do we do that? What do you mean, how do we do that? You're the genius who said we should turn evil! Hey, you started doing rude things, so I was following you, sister! Oh, whatever, let's just stop arguing and hide! Okay, okay, but where? I don't know! Just go behind something, we don't have much time. I'll go behind this tree. Um, what about me? Go behind that person over there! Anything will work that can hide you from Apollo! But, just go! Okay, okay! There was a sudden flash of light as Apollo rise from behind a mountain. Oh no, Apollo! Wait, what has happened? Why am I a dark spot? Whoa! Um, you might want to look in the mirror. You look like a tree! I can't look in the mirror. I'm a huge black spot. And wait, that person's moving. And you're moving too! Hey, I can't stop dancing! It's like they're controlling me! What did he do? Well... Um, I don't know. I mean, is this temporary? You're the sm according to you, you're the smart one. You usually make all the plans. This was your idea to leave Mom. Now everything's out of place. Let's not play the blame game. 
You agreed to follow me. Anyway, we can figure out what we are and how we got this way. Why didn't Apollo just kill us? Once again, I don't know. I guess he didn't want to kill us. I don't know. Of course you don't know. I always do all the thinking around here. Your no helped me. We will never find Dad now. Hey, my person stopped dancing. About two months later, Hey, why are there more black spots behind every human and object? Wait, how am I seeing things all around me in different views? It seems like I'm behind a lot of different objects. Hey, the same thing's happening to me. Every time the sun passes, I end up somewhere else. It seems to be that I'm multiplying. Yeah, so are we stuck here forever? Because it's been almost two months, and it's been the same every single day since. I guess, but I'm not really sure. Over the years, they multiplied, giving everything a shadow. The djinn was the shadow of people. And we took was a shadow of, well, everything except people. Wherever Apollo was, the shadows under him would be affected by his curse. This curse made them unable to move themselves. They would follow the actions and movements of whatever they were stuck to. This would change when Apollo was not shining over them. Apollo would be on the other side of the world, unable to hold the curse because he was too far away to control. During night, when Apollo was on the other side of the world and they're free, the djinn and Retark meet up and search everywhere for their father, even the places they've, they've checked a million times. They search every night, yes, every night. I'm ready. Humans do not realize that shadows roam around at night. Although shadows can hear and see humans, humans cannot hear or see shadows, even if they scream really loud. Fidgen and Retard continued looking for their father. They looked everywhere. They could never find him. They looked under and over, behind and through, going through forests and at the tops of mountains and the bottoms of seas, but they never found him. Instead, all that they found were shadows. It appeared that Apollo had made his wish with, with Thijan and Retark come true. He'd made them into shadows. Was that why they could never find their father? Did, were they real? Did they even exist? Or were they forever shadows? Not people, not things to the outside world. Instead, just black marks on walls and floors. Would Thijin be a dancer forever? Was she even a person? Would Retart be a plant? Just a big black blob of a plant on the wall? Had Apollo's plan come together? And would they spread to other things? Would they be everywhere? It seemed as if everywhere Retark and Thijin looked, there was a shadow. Whenever there was light, there were black blobs all over the wall and the floors, whether it was a chair or a sofa 
or a ball. Shadows were everywhere. And so this is how shadows were born. Two kids in a family torn apart, a father lost forever, and two children who were turned into black spots, never to see their father and never to be real people again.